What's up guys, or Omega here, and it's finally here. This weekend is finally here, the weekend I look forward to every single year. It's Hyper Japan weekend here in the UK from the 14th to the 16th of July, and oh, like I look forward to this every year. This is my fourth year in a row going. I've been going since 20... I've been going since 2014, that's one, that's, that's one. I can do maths. I've been going since 2014, and it's just, I, I swear I look forward to like, Japan more than I look forward to Christmas. It's like, I love this event so much. For those of you who don't know what it is, I think the easiest way to explain it is that it's the UK's version of Anime Expo, but not quite, because obviously what Anime Expo is dedicated solely to anime. Hyper Japan is more J-culture, there's like, like travel stuff, there's education stuff, there's the family events, there's not going to be like a fucking booth or anything like that. But anyway, do something a little different here, as you can see, obviously I am vlogging, I decided that I'm going to vlog for these three days, I'll take you guys along with me. There'll be loads of things to do, there's loads of big name performances happening this year, like we've got Rio this year, we've got Toriana, there's loads of anime industry professionals, there's like a VR experience, there's a sake experience, there's loads of shit going on, and obviously, being a convention, loads of glorious weeb shit I can spend my money on. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so good. But anyway, I'm gonna take you guys along for the journey. If you like this kind of stuff, don't forget to hit me up on Twitter or drop a comment down below saying that you do, and maybe I'll see what I can do. Maybe I'll bring more vlogs to the channel. Anyway, let's get it. Quick fashion check as well, just because you said you you couldn't see it properly now. I'll record them for. I've got my plus ultra snapback. I'm also rocking the Mobcycle 100 pullover. I love these. I love these so much. Going full weed wear for this. Right, let's go. First day of Hyper Japan over, and uh, it was just, it was just it was just as I thought. It was better. It was better than I would have ever expected. Let me stop moving because these vlogs are going to be shaky enough already. So we try and stand still so you can enjoy this wonderful London scenery. Sorry, that wonderful. But anyway, ah, uh, first day of Hyper Japan. It was. The Friday is usually one of the quietest days because Friday people are still working, some people are maybe still at school even though it's the middle of July, but it was, it was fairly busy. But this is my first time at the tobacco dock, so I didn't realize how like, segmented it would be. There's loads of stuff, as you've seen like, all the clips before this, but there's loads of stuff that are in different, like, they're in different rooms, which is you know, a stark comparison to like, the open plane layout that there was last year at the Olympia. But it was, it was really good. I did the Japan VR experience. I got to read Boku no Hero Academia in VR, which is an experience. As well as things like Naruto, One Piece, and Haikyuu, as well as Jintama. I tried loads of food. There was like, I found a place that did a delicious salmon and avocado uh, donburi, which is really good. I even was able to enter the contest where I had to record myself in front of the camera uh, saying why I want to go to Japan. I went on for like a two minute speech about game development and things like that. So uh, if I win that, that would be awesome. What else did I do? I didn't see any performances, but I meant to do that because tomorrow and Sunday are going to be packed full, and tomorrow I'm going to see Rio. 
but oh, tomorrow I'm going to see Rio, Toriana is hosting a workshop, there's other bands in, artists I might try out, like Shin and the Sixth Fly, so I'm going to go and see all of them. Sunday is going to be packed full of many talks, I'm going to see like Danny Chu talk, of anime industry experts, we all are doing a talk, sh- a talk show, so I'll be able to do go and see that. But yeah, as far as today, it was like Japan, Japan VR experience, I bought two art books, there'll be a picture here somewhere. Um, I bought two art books, a percent five art book and a crook art book, they are amazing. They're so good, worth every fucking penny. I, will, I do not regret those purchases whatsoever. But anyway, enough rambling, because there's going to be more for this vlog later on, because obviously it's two more days to fight Japan. But... <laughs> What's going on guys, just about to get ready to head off to day 2 of Hyper Japan, just obviously I've updated my clothes, my attire, so just quickly show you what I'm wearing, still rocking the Plus Ultra Snapback, because why the fuck not, it's Harry Mugoya, am I right? And this time I'm rocking the Neko Pirate shirt, let's go! Also I've decided this is it's Saturday, I'm going to bring my son Deku along for the ride, just attached to my bag there, a bit of father-son bonding, let's go, let's go, let's go! God. I'm actually panting. Um, day two of Hyper Japan is just finished and my year is made. My year is made. I, oh god, I can't believe I just saw real live and words, words cannot describe just how amazing that is. That is the highlight of my year, seeing real live at Hyper Japan 2017. I don't care if there are five months left in the year. Nothing. I'm not going to experience anything else. <laughs> My throat, my throat is just gone because I was screaming so much. Nothing else is going to top that. I just saw Real Live. They did, they did so many original songs. 
are like give me a break stop now and chiru chiru but they also did a couple vocal covers like they did love Tori. i was just not expecting that because love Tori is my favorite cover of theirs and uh, it was so good it was so good i have to i'm using the uh, ipad to record this my phone died with my poor batalia at home so that's why it may be different angles and quality, but it was amazing. On top of that, uh, I went to the May Cafe with a couple of friends that I made at the Mosso Calibration um, live act, which is the other live act I went to. I also got to see Toriana's um, I say chip shop workshop, chip tune workshop, which is interesting. I'm going to see her live, so a live performance with her tomorrow, which would be amazing. Um, and bought loads of shit, there'll be like a massive haul picture, whatever, somewhere in this video. I bought loads of shit, I ate some, oh, I ate a wonderful waffle, but, ah, uh, oh, on that note, I'm waffling now, my throat is dead, my legs have got to carry me home, all the way to the train station. Oh, God, day two of Hyper Japan. Oh, over. Alright guys, it's here, final day of Hyper Japan, decided to switch up the hat as well because the other one was frankly getting kind of stinky. Got my 2016 League of Legends Worlds cap on, very good, very, I love this thing. And decided to go slightly more casual today, no like strictly anime wear, just like, just Tokyo in big bold letters, can't really get much, much simpler than that, simple and stylish. Also it's like going to be 25 or something here in the UK, you can't even see it, but shorts, shorts and tippers today as well, so that's what we're rocking. Final day, let's go.